the first step to tying um, a fly is making sure your hook is locked in. So we're going to jump right into it today and I'm going to show you how to lock in your hook and make sure it's um, properly fastened. So um, we're using this Dairiki, um number 710 size 6 and this is a extra long shank hook so a 3x but uh, there's a number of different hooks you can use we're going to go with this one today so um, the first thing when placing it is is, is putting it in the jaws and, and these are the jaws what clamps the hook down and i actually use a, a spring-loaded vise which is pretty common these days and um, this one you know if you have a vise that's uh, adjust the, the tension is where you might have a few um, issues here, but for this vise it clips right in you put on the clamp lock it in and you can see this is basically parallel Horizontal to the ground, you know, you essentially want a straight hook You wouldn't want it, you know up like that or down like that. And the other thing I want to show you is right here the um, Just the little hook jaw you see that little right there That's the place where you can actually with the bigger hooks especially this one does fit it'll lock It'll lock you right in. But actually for this hook, it's just as easy to do it kind of out a little bit. See, I'm not actually even locking in the jaws. So that's the first thing is you want to get that, that locked in there. And um, to make sure it's good to go, uh, you just, there's one kind of quick tip you can do and you just give it a pluck with your thumb like this. You hear that ping? Ping. So that lets you know that this thing's good to go. And if you had a loose, if it was kind of like this, you can see I'm really ranking on it, and it's tight. You know, so if you had another vice and it was kind of moving around and didn't give you that ping, you would know. So uh, after the hook is secure, we can move on to the next step, and I will see you there.